we have to get serious today. We have three major tasks that this state must complete simultaneously. First is the vaccination. The vaccine is the weapon that wins the war. Great, it's developed. But you have to get it, and then you have to get it in people's arms. <laughs> well, thank you very much. It is an honor to be here. It is a cold spring day. I am surrounded by clergy, and our governor is on Long Island. It's a wonderful, wonderful day. Wonderful day. You know, Governor, I want to thank you for your leadership. I want to look at you. I want to thank you for your leadership and for your resolve for this issue. We need you to continue going with this vaccine. That's right. That's right. We need you to keep going with this vaccine. You know, COVID has devastated this state. Long Island continues to be one of the hardest hit regions, especially for our black and brown New Yorkers. We must take the vaccine. Now, I'm going to tell you a personal story, off script. So today, right after this, I am going to have an infusion. And I'm going to have an infusion because I want to make sure that the cancer that was in my body does not return. I'm not asking what's in the, in the, in the infusion. I'm not looking up all of the ingredients in the infusion. I am sticking out my arm and I am taking the infusion. And that's what we have to do. Our communities take insulin, metformin, all kinds of, we can't line up at the drugstore so quickly because we want to save our lives. And that's what the governor is talking about. We must take the vaccine. The vaccine is a weapon that wins the war on COVID. And we need our clergy because, as Martin Luther King said, religion and science are not competing interests. They are our trusted messengers. And when your pastor says to do something, you trust your pastor, you trust your doctor. That's what we need to do. This shot is the only thing that will get our lives back. Whichever vaccine is offered to you, the governor, our governor, has done an amazing job for Long Island, for New York. It is there for you to take it, and we cannot have any excuses at all. We all need to do our part, not just for ourselves, but for our families, for our friends, for our community. So, Governor, I thank you for being here. You stay continuing to lead us through this crisis because we need you. Thank you. Well, everything has been said, and it's been said better than I said it. Tracy Edwards, let's give her a round of applause. Bishop Harvey, Kristen Jarnigan, Dr. Howard Zucker, who's done a great job all across the state. Let's give him a round of applause. Get the vaccine. God bless you. Artie? What is it? A judoscope. Didn't you ever see one? No, what does it do? Watch and you'll find out. See, when they get to the slaughterhouse, he decks to one side and the silly sheep go in to get their throats cut. That black devil knows it.
There's a pit out back where they bury all the entrails. Nobody will go near that. <laughs>